Can we make this? Can we make it? Can we fire the last one on? Nope, we cannot. However, there we go. Five elemental, one catalytic. Not the best game, but I only just logged in to do the one game. More importantly, 1,002 elemental attune level and 1,000 in, is that 66 of the catalytic attunement level? This is loot from 1,000 of these. When I started this off, so if I check, I've done some loot. When I looted these 127, just watching my inventory update was really enjoyable, so... Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I've not said that in so, so long, but welcome to the loot from 1,000 reward guardians from the new Guardians of the Rift, I think it is, minigame. So before I start, it is not worth stacking points as I've done. It is more efficient to get the outfit, the lantern, the needle, I believe, before you do anything. I just thought it'd be fun to loot 1,000 for the video because you basically just right-click it, AFK, and watch your inventory stack with everything up. So yes, it, obviously, some people might be like, why did you get a thousand points without getting the outfit first or the lantern i know that it's just sometimes you don't have to play runescape efficiently you can choose not to and i just chose not to this time when i loot all this hopefully i get enough pearls for the outfit i think i definitely do or statistically i should i should hopefully get the lantern and i should hopefully get the pouch as well so therefore when i go back to the guardians of rift if i do we should be able to do some good stuff so yeah all right, okay, so uh, how we're gonna do this, I'm literally just gonna right click and just search this. And we'll probably do the first hundred or so where I just live commentate and see if we get anything. And then I'll only just jump in and we'll pull out like what we actually, like anytime we get a good unique, I'll just record that and I'll have everything live commented. At the end, we'll price check every rune. We'll open up the extra little rewards you can get as well. I'll keep all the talismans and then hopefully a thousand loots here should maybe be able to help us do it. I'm just gonna quickly search and get two out of the way now. These don't count to the video. These are going in the bin, because now I have exactly 1,000 rewards left to go. Who the hell is this guy? Get in, don't even speak, please. Just, just, you know what, public off, just so I can record this video without some guy gargling in the background. All right. 1,000 searches. Barrack and Law 21. Ooh, it's solo with me. Good luck, my brother. Right, let's see what we get. Okay, 82 death runes. I think we can turn this on as well, so we can actually see um the rewards i'm just gonna stop quickly here and pull the pearls down to the bottom um actually no, we'll put the pearls in the top right and then all the runes are gonna stay there because i'm not gonna actually be banking the um the runes i'll be banking the talismans and i'll be banking some of the other things but we'll pull all that out later i've double checked my bank to make sure that oh wow i'm getting loads of pearls here this is great uh, I'll double check my... No, I did double check my bank, but I got rid of all the talismans so we can see the correct amount afterwards. And all the runes we'll keep in my inventory for the entirety of the searching. And then we'll just see what we actually get. If I don't get, like, a needle or a lantern from this, I'm going to be very upset. But this is kind of why I wanted to make this video and why, obviously, it's inefficient to do this. It's because I'm just sat here right now, relaxing, pulling all the pearls in the world, bro. I'm getting great RNG on these pearls. But you just... It's so... For anyone that did the Guardians of the Rift, if that's what it's called, sorry. It's just so fun to loot. Like, you just sit here and watch your inventory and just see what's going to appear in it and see if anything good's going to happen. So the intricate pouch that I've just pulled here, uh, again, we'll open all those at the end as like a little separate one, but I will make sure that, again, my inventory stays the same. We will have a massive chunk of runes in the inventory. We'll have all the pearls. A catalytic talisman. Okay. I don't really know the rate, but we got it on the collection log, so I'm happy. And that's the first unique of the video coming in the first 40-ish loots or 50 or something. Uh, again, we're looking for the lantern. We're looking for the needle. As far as I'm aware, from what the wiki has managed to approximately work out rates-wise at the moment, the needle is about 1 in 300. So we should find one. I don't believe you can get more than one needle. So that's one thing that kind of wrecks this video is I could choose to destroy my needle and see if I can get three, but I don't really think I should bother. I think if I get the needle, then just just keep it or something. It's more the lantern. I just want to see if we can get one lantern in the 1,000 or if I end up just going dry. And there's also the dyes as well. I think the dyes are confirmed to be about one in 1,200 and there's three of them. So one in 400 to pull any color, one in 1,200 to pull any specific. So, oh baby, we got the abyssal needle nice and early in there right at the start. Oh, we're happy. I've, been, I've done every single one. So my method that I use here, I did every single one without the colossal pouch. I didn't think it made much difference when I was working out because I think my strategy would be roughly the same. But then I realized, yes, the colossal pouch is definitely good. But very happy to actually get the needle in there. Um, I'm not going to destroy it. 
uh, because I think I would get another one, but I just don't think it's really going to show the rates of everything if I do destroy it. So we'll mainly just see what runes and what value we actually get here, but I've only done like 70 searches, and I did get the needle, and I'm getting loads of pearls here. I don't know the rate of pearls. I think they boosted it by 15%. But I do not know the actual rate or how often you're meant to pull them. I think probably on average I'm going to pull 15 or something like that. But wow, I've done what, 80 searches, 251 pearls. Got three in a row? Nope. 80 searches, 251 pearls. What, three per search or something? If I got three per search, I get 3,000 here. And that buys me the well the entire outfit. And then I'm going to do some more room crafting, I think. And uh, see, I really enjoyed this minigame. Minigame's been fantastic. Um, I haven't really uploaded my method anywhere or anything. I just kind of did my own thing. I do my whole game now based around the timers that actually go on. But before that, I just everything was a static timer anyway. So you could just kind of learn the times that were there. But my advice is build your game so that when you're like doing nothing a portal will sp port a spawn sorry and you won't actually have any essence in your inventory because at that point you can go in the portal and get a full inventory of essence while still having your other stuff so i might throw in at the very end of the video a very quick quotation guide to what i was doing for all these thousand points which i really enjoyed it would get me around six points guaranteed every game unless i messed up and normally would get me seven and eight when i rounded up and i think i had one nine point game but i think i rounded up like 404 to like a 500 or something but i can't remember other than that looking good so far i'm really happy with the pearl amount here 299 i'm looting these after the initial update because i wanted to wait for the wednesday to see if they change anything um but so far this looks good but yeah i'll just keep stacking up these runes now uh i won't really uh Comment it the whole thing so it'd be pretty boring i think if i just sit here blabbing away so if we pull any unique we'll make sure that we uh, record the just before and go from there bro my pearl rng is insane four pearls on the same inventory that's just so good and another intricate pouch pearls yeah hey there we go the abyssal lantern coming in if we just quickly stop what was that Three, three or four ago or something, so if we search. No, 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 we want to check, not search. 307 times. We still have six, this, this, right, I'm going to give you some advice. If you're a YouTuber, don't make a video of looting this a thousand times. It takes ages. Like, I've been here for, like, probably 20 solid minutes now, and I'm not even halfway through. Because I'm looting, what, one every four ticks, every two seconds. 20 Abyssal Pearls is just so nice. Um, I'll come in at the halfway point as well, and we'll just see if, like, we can look at our runes roughly and see if we can, like, double that on the second half to see if we had good RNG. Right now, I want to say my pearls were good RNG, but I don't know, because it looks like I'm in about 2,000 for 1,000, which is just done, just over the outfit, so it might be about right, but... Abyssal Lantern is beautiful when I return. Now I've got Colossal Pouch, Abyssal Lantern with the U-Log, I think, is the best one, because I've got Max Cape, so my pouches don't... Or pouch won't degrade anyway, so that one's uh, quite nice. Anyways, I'll continue picking, and we'll get our nice stuff right i think it's about two more last one here right there we go so if i quickly jump off here this is 500 rewards i'm not going to bank the runes we'll keep the runes here but a good idea of what we've got so far here five catalytic talismans wait talisman yes four elementals 23 intricate pouches obviously the needle a lantern and one of the other needles and then just all these random talismans and apparently 10 watering cans let's move that out the way these pearls i obviously i've obtained these beforehand same with this diary so i don't know if i can get that in the video Right, let's do the second half to the uh, 500 here, and then uh, that's that. No, <laughs> another needle. <laughs> I, again, I don't know, like, if they're rare or not. Maybe we finish this with four needles, one in 250 or something. I think it could vim the needle, if you pull one of these, it is quite rare. So you could be very close to rolling something else. Hey, there we go. The Abyssal Blue Die. Coming in, was that around 610 to get that? Pretty happy. If I get another die before the end, that'd be pretty awesome. I got these Abyssal Lashes earlier as well. I didn't record them in the video, but now I look back, I think this is the third pair or third set I've actually got. So they also might be one of those drops you can pull that's quite rare, but it's just kind of garbage. But pretty happy to get that die if i can get one more die and maybe some of the random item before the end i'll be pretty happy with this but if i don't i think the main point of this video i want to do is work out how many pearls you get per point on average and how much gp in these runes you get plus the intricate pouches and you can work out roughly how many runes you craft per game and try and work out how much gp an hour you get here it's never going to be high plus the runes have tanked in price but oh no not more of the ashes oh the abyssal green die 
Can we get the red one as well? We get blue, green, and red. I get the whole collection lock done there. I don't know how the dies work if you get two duplicates, so if you have to get all three uniques before any potential duplicate, because you can't trade them in for any other color. But will I roll, if I roll a die on the next one, is it guaranteed to be red, or will it be a duplicate? I've got 200 and something more attempts to see if we can pull a duplicate to prove that theory wrong, but again, someone in the comments might know, but we'll find out. Ooh, on the very last pull, the abyssal red die, so... Two needles this inventory, but the theory, the theory stands. I've got all three dies now, which means if I trade these in, once I buy the outfit, I've got 19, 18 of these uh, pearls, which means I think I can buy the whole outfit and I can dye the whole thing, whatever color I wish. Six needles, though, running about the same as catalytic talismans, and they might be running that one in 200 that is said, but all three dies there. So the only item I can get now that's a unique would technically be the pet. So therefore, I have 100 rolls to pull the pet here, and if I do that, I've actually done the whole of the Guardians of the Rift. In, um, actually, no, I need to get like another 3,000 pearls or something for the uh, transmog, but very happy to get all three dies, though, in 1,000. Um, let's see if we get anything in the last bit, but I think we might be ending a bit of a low note. It's these pearls I'm quite curious for, though. I do think I got a bit lucky with them, but at the same time, it's probably looking around two to one. Two pearls for one point. Jeff Talisman. Oh, Abyssal Green die. Okay, so we've got two of those. Again, I, we can't really prove now in this video that you will pull a unique die every single time. So I, I'm quite sure I saw a guy in my world pull the same die back to back, actually. So unless he pulled a completion of three dies, then a unique or the duplicate straight after. I'm going to say now that I'm quite sure you can pull a duplicate die. And I did just get lucky to pull all three uniques back to back in the way. But I don't know. Five, four pills, three... Two, and the final item is some fire runes. And there we go, 1,000 loot, 2,150 pearls. I think I got a bit lucky, so I think saying about two to one is probably about right, give or take. Because I reckon if I pulled about 1850, it'd still be running on the same amount there. I'm going to spend these quickly because I'm actually going to be buying myself this entire outfit right here, which costs, well, I'm just going to buy it because I can afford it. So gimme, 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 and gimme. Can you sell them? Ooh, I don't know if you can. So you can't sell them back, so therefore for a collection log person, you wouldn't buy that one there. But 400 for the Ring of the Elements, I'll leave that for now because I might get Guardian's Eye next to something at 3400. Upgrading my gear now to this, alongside that I will actually have myself the um, Colossal Pouch as well. But the video ain't quite over here, so if we just quickly jump into the bank. This is the final spoils of the random items. We pulled one needle. Again, I don't think you can pull duplicates, so we don't know. I have pulled one lantern. I know you can pull more lanterns, so there's that. Eight needles, a long time, seven catalytic talismans, so those might be about the same drop rates. All three dies, which are about one in 1,200, so about one in 400 for a die. We pulled four, so that's quite nice because of the duplicate green. And then we have these talismans, all kind of normal, but we are looking towards the death talisman that was a bit rarer, and I think the law talismans as well. But yeah, quite rare there, so um, that's... That's, anyways, we'll open up these uh, intricate pouches. I'll just do 10 per inventory quickly. Uh, most of these are just going to pull some runes. Soul runes, okay. But I know you can pull some... Ooh, a lamp. I don't even know you can get a lamp. Let's put it on farming. Where's farming? There we go. How much experience do we get? Oh, it's just a genie lamp, really. Ooh, another one, bro. This is great. I'm loving this. It's awesome. Another one? Chaos runes. A hard clue. Okay, I'll do that later. I'm not going to open more. Wait, how many do I actually get? Does it say? Right. Oh, this is going to be hard. Right, I don't know how many blood runes I had, but the video, you can rewind the video and just see how many were actually there. But let's keep going with these, see if we get any dragon items. And uh, add all this to the collection. I will then price check all of this inventory, and then that'll give you the rough GP per point, I think we could say is quite, uh, quite accurate. And then, oh, what was I going to say after that? Give me that lantern, I just lost a few. The rough GP a point, but then also when you actually play the mini game, you will runecraft some runes yourself, like death runes or lo tarnished locket. Read it. Uh, I honestly don't know what that is. I'll research it afterwards. But I did get one in forty-two pouches. I don't know if I can get duplicates. Shield left half followed by the dragon spear. Fortunately, probably blocked myself a couple of lamps there. But there we go. So I don't know if this is tradable. But a final price check of all the loot. This doesn't include uh, what I've runecrafted during the minigame. I could probably guess because I actually was filling a rune pouch up because I wasn't dropping my runes. But there we go. We have 8.5 million GP there, which you could say is an average of 8,500 per point. Quite accurate there. 8,500 points is approximately, call it, 24k a game. 
And then this rune pouch right here, all of these were runecrafted during the game, but I did runecraft another 16,000 death runes. I just deposited all of the stuff um, when I was there. So you would get some more money on the top with the runes crafted. So I reckon I probably made probably around 20 mil in a thousand games. Which, again, 20k a game on average? No, I've done the math wrong there, but I don't know. But there you go. Loot from 1,000. 800 pills remaining. The full outfit has been bought. So I think I probably need to do around another 1,500 games if I wanted to buy both the Guardian's Eye and the Ring of the Elements. But then also there's these talismans if I don't really think they're ever really worth buying. I want to say the Blood Talisman didn't exist until now. So that's a new item there, but yeah. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you all very much for watching. If you want to runecraft with me, I will be in World 505. I'm not in it now because I just wanted to open them in peace. Uh, but I runecraft in World 505 if it's still active. And I'm just runecrafting because I enjoy this mini game and I enjoy just playing the game with people. It's nice. As you can see, I'm on the main. I'm not on a hardcore Ironman. Things have been different and I've been enjoying myself playing this mini game. So I think Jagex did a fantastic job on this one. I think the only things that were wrong with this mini game, from my opinion, the initial thing, they fixed it now, when the first altar spawned, it would instantly change. That really annoyed me. Really annoyed me. Other than that, I did think the pills were too rare on day one. I did think the outfit was a bit too expensive. They fixed that, and I think a pretty accurate one. But it is looking at something like maybe 100 or something hours to get everything from this, which seems about right. It's a bit higher, maybe, because I think most of the minigames are a bit less, but that's that. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Thank you. I'll see you all later. Have a good one, and goodbye.